We are in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and we're looking at a limestone pier. On top of the pier, we have a limestone cap that was carved out and it was planed on a planing machine. Now, people ask me, well, how do they do this? So we're going to go down to Tomasetti Stone Company, and he's going to be carving out because they're going to match these piers. He's going to be carving out the same thing. I think it's a real interesting video. I caught him at different times, and as you'll see it, and how he's doing it, you'll see you can put it together yourself. At the very end of the video, I'm going to show you and turn you on to a book called Modern Practical Masonry. When I went out to New York City, they were building the Cathedral of St. John. They're still doing it. And they use this book for their Bible on how they do these geometry to make the windows and the arches and all that stuff. So that's going to be interesting too. I'm just going to turn you on to it. So here we go. I'm at Thomas Eddy Stone Company in Wilkesbury. This is Indiana limestone, and he's planing it down. But these are caps that go on tops of piers, and he's going to show us how he makes them. I'm going to he let me film him, and then the artist cutting into the side. So it's really pretty good video. I'm lucky to get it, and here we go. Laser level, and they're just getting their marks to make their return. So, we're going to look how he cornered this piece out here. Right here, you can see where they made the marks from that laser level for the return going this way. They lay the stones down on the table and uh, they come over here and this is a planing machine. So I'm going to show you how it works.
that's it, the limestone caps are done. And we're gonna look at a little more of a planing job they got going on now. Now here's the prints for the stone caps he's making. Now he's making the panels. So we're gonna see him cutting out the panels. Now this is the Cathedral of St. John's in New York City and I haven't been there for over 15 years but they did have a program where they would take young apprentices and teach them how to carve the stones. Uh, the building's been being built for over a hundred years. Uh, they stopped a couple times because of the world wars but it's still being built today and it's a good example of a limestone building. Now right here you can see where they use rough stones behind the facade which is going to be limestone. So it's a good example of a limestone building. So when I went to the Cathedral of St. John's they used a book they went by and it was called Modern Practical Masonry by E.G. Warland. And then I found another book and I'm going to show you how to find these two books on the internet so you don't have to go buy one if, if you don't want. But these books, this book here by uh, Modern Practical Masonry shows you the details and how they did all the work when it came into the steel area and it shows you how to do all the carvings and all the stuff you need to know if you were in that business. Now, Tomasetti's down there they got a lot of that machinery to make all these kind of uh, uh, you know stone caps and pillars and everything but this book shows you all the geometry you can see it uh, it gives you a clue on how they do it it's a good homework book uh, all the arches and everything and I've used it when I had to do arches I've used this for uh, a reference also on the internet see all the capitals and everything how they, they would carve them out so it's a good reference book also I'm going to show you a practical masonry and we're going to go to the website I had a copy of the book because I couldn't find it at that time but now you can get it over the internet uh, so here we go we're going to go on the internet and look at these a sample of these two books now if you want to look at the book online, I went right there to the Haiti Trust Digital Library and I went right down here, right there, full view and I pressed that there button and there's the book right there, Modern Practical Masonry E.G. Warland, you can look at the whole book online so that's the book and then it was written in 1929 so uh, we're just going to run through it real quick here. Uh, you can look it up for yourself. But you can see how the tools they used. A lot of stuff that I didn't copy. The machinery they're using just like they do down at Tomasetti. So it's a real interesting book. Uh, you don't have to buy it online. You can get it off the internet just like this now. See, it shows you the arches, steps, I guess, all the fancy stuff. And more towards the back of the book, they're getting into the geometry and how they do all the fancy stuff. So, now there's also another book called Practical Masonry by William R. Purchase. It's on the same site and uh, it has a lot of uh, information. We'll just look at this real quick so you can get an idea. Because if you ever have to build something that's, uh, you know, 
high fidelity. See the arches in there. Or highfalutin, as I call it. And, uh, man, this is a great place to start, no matter what kind of masonry you're doing. So I wanted to turn you on to those two books. See the stairways? Uh, and how to do it. So... I want to turn you on to those two books, and uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.